this lesson, we're going to create a puzzle set in Maya. All right, so how we're going to approach this is we're going to create one side of the puzzle piece, duplicate that to form a full puzzle piece, and eventually form a puzzle set. All right, so to start off, I'm just going to go in my top view here and go up to Create, CV Curve Tool. Follow what I'm doing closely. I'm going to make this symmetrical. So I'm going to go about six places to the left and hold X to snap to grid. Place one here, point here, point here, point here, point here, and one, two, three, four, five, six. Hit enter, and then press three to smooth shade. Just going to move these vertices around to make it look more like a puzzle piece. Just move these down, scale them in a bit. Can move these guys down a bit. Maybe scale them out. All right, so now I'm just going to select this piece here. And on a Mac, it's going to be FN uh, left arrow, or I think home, maybe. Um, on Windows, I think it's insert to move your pivot point. So I'm going to move my pivot point all the way to the right here. I'm going to hold V this time to, well, or V or X. I'm going to hold X to snap to the end there. Um, and now I'm just going to hit Command D to duplicate that and rotate it 90 degrees in the Y. You can also go up to here, edit, duplicate to duplicate. Um, and now I'm going to do that again. I'm just going to drag my pivot point down here and duplicate that, rotate it to 180. Move this over, duplicate, 270. All right, so now we have all these. Um, I'm just going to go up to my Surfaces tab here, and then go up to Edit Curves, Attach Curves. And I'm going to make sure, I don't want it to keep the originals. Um, I'm just going to attach these here. and. Alright, so they're all attached. I'm just going to delete my history and center my pivot, modify center pivot. So I'm just going to drag this to the oops. I'm just going to drag this to the center of my grid. I still have some curves here. And I'm going to select it and go up to surfaces, bevel plus. And right now I have the width at 0.2, depth at 0.3, extrude distance 0.4. And I'm going to make it convex out. And I have my samples at about 16, 2 and 16. I'm just going to hit apply and a puzzle piece will form. So now we're just going to create more so we can interlock them. So I'm basically going to do the same thing. Move my pivot point to the very edge here holding V. And I'm going to duplicate this and rotate it 90 degrees and select that again, rotate it 180 and select it 270. All right, so basically you get the point. You can continue doing that with all the pieces. You can group them and Basically, you'll eventually form a whole puzzle. You can apply a shader to it, um, a Lambert, and then um, in order to put an image on there, you're going to want to go up to Create UVs, Planar Mapping, and project in the Y, I believe. Yep, and basically create a UV map of that. You can look at my other tutorials for UV mapping and Photoshop and just place a picture over that and you'll have your own puzzle set. So it's basically all, um, feel free to subscribe, uh, favorite, it'll help me. Thanks.